Hey guys, Badinfos here and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you a few things. I'm going to show you how to properly install an NVMe M.2 SSD onto your system. I'm going to show you how to properly install Windows onto your newly acquired SSD and do all the extra settings you need to do in the BIOS and in the Windows installation itself to speed up your SSD. This is an MV NVMe M.2 tutorial. If you want to see a SATA SSD tutorial, then you can click on the card on the screen or in the description to watch that video. But for now I bought uh, an NVMe M.2 uh, 970 Pro version from Samsung. This is currently the fastest SSD on the market. Uh, coming close is the Western Digital Black. Yes, they also do SSDs, which is also a pretty good purchase, but I think this is amazing. So I bought this SSD because I'm happy with Samsung products. Now before you start the installation, it's very important to note this. Before you start, make sure you unplug any other hard drives or any other SSDs you have in your system. I have two hard drives and one SSD currently in my system. I'm gonna unplug this before I plug this in. Why do we wanna do that? Well, because Windows puts some extra partitions onto your drives. So for instance, if you have only this connected, these extra partitions are gonna be put onto this SSD which you want. If you have any other connections, they could be accidentally placed on these other hard drives or other SSDs, which you don't want. You want everything from Windows to be installed on your fastest drive, which is your SSD drive. With that said, let's begin. What's, what you want to know about uh, NVMe M.2 SSDs is that they usually, most of them, go below the video card. Some go above the video card, but the majority are below it. So what you want to do is take this out, which I'm going to show you how to do. Let's go. Okay, guys, let the fun begin. As you can see, I have an SSD over here, which is half a terabyte. I also have two other hard drives on the bottom. One of them is six terabytes and the other one is one terabyte. As you can see, with on each of these, we have two different connections. We have a data transfer SATA connector and also a power SATA connector going from the PSU and this one goes from the motherboard. This connects to the motherboard and to the SSD at the same time. This one comes from the power supply. What you want to do is to unplug the data transfer SATA connector. You don't need to take this out, but just to make sure, I will just take it out too. This is completely not needed. You don't need to unplug this port too. But I did, because I can. This is going to be a bit, a bit more tricky because it is uh, pretty low. There's too many cables here. This one is unplugged too. And this one's going to be a bit trickier than the previous one. Oh, there we go. This one is not connected anymore. Let's unplug the power, there we go, this one is not connected too. None of these are connected and they can proceed to the other step. And here comes the more tricky part. As you probably know, the SSD slot is usually underneath the video card. This is the video card. What you want to do is remove this video card. In order to install it, you have to do that. The first thing you want to do is to unplug it. Unplug any cables connected to it. And then you have to unscrew these two holders. Each video card has a holder on the opposite side, so you need to unhatch that too, which sometimes could be a bit tricky. After you unhatch it and take out the video card, this lot is revealed. Here it is. And here's a closer look. What you want to do now is unscrew this screw and take it out. After you do, take your SSD and place it in exactly like this. You have to hear a small click. After you do, you have to press it downwards and screw it back. And this was pretty much it. Just place your video card back and boot up your computer. We need to enter the BIOS. 
And here begins the Windows 10 installation. First you need to plug in a flash drive with Windows on it. You can download Windows from the official Microsoft website for free. After it's plugged in, start tapping the delete key on your keyboard to enter the BIOS. We need to set it up in a way so it can boot up from the flash drive and not from the SSD. After pressing delete a bunch of times, you enter the BIOS. Each BIOS is different, but they all look very similar. Look for the boot priority section and set your flash drive as the primary boot option just like this. This is all for now, we return to the BIOS later. Save and quit and don't touch anything until the installator loads up. It starts off like this, I like using the English language, so I won't change anything here. Click install and wait for a bit. You can enter your key now or do it later. I'll not do it now and I'll press the I don't have the product key option. Choose the Windows type best suited for you. I prefer Windows 10 Pro. Accept the license terms. Since it's a new installation, you wanna choose the second option. This is the partition selector. What I'll do is I'll make a 100GB partition for Windows. Type here 103,000, which is exactly 100GB. And as you see, all these extra partitions are made. This is the reason why you want to disconnect any other drives beforehand. You don't want all of these to be placed on a hard drive for instance. Select the remaining unallocated space and make a new partition out of it. You need to format it. Select the 100GB partition and click on next. And now it's the waiting game. This won't take long, it took about 15 to 20 minutes for me. The setup is pretty straightforward, it's gonna ask you a few things. Don't agree to any of them, you don't need Cortana or specialized ads or even Microsoft taking personal data from you. So do what I'm doing, select only the essentials. After a bit Windows should be all done, but wait, we are not done yet. We need to visit the BIOS again, so shut down your PC, plug all your drives in, start it up and continuously tap the delete button again. Welcome to the BIOS. If you visit your chipset menu, you'll see all your other drives. If something's missing, you need to check your connections again. Your NVMe SSD is not listed here. Instead, you'll find it here under peripherals and NVMe configuration. If you can see all your drives, then you did a good job and it's all connected properly. Visit the BIOS tab and set your new SSD as boot option 1. Set whatever you like as boot option 2. At hard drive priorities, you'll see all your listed drives. Set your new SSD as boot option 1 if it's not there already. Go back and visit the fast boot option. Here you can select whatever you like. But since you want your SSD to be as fast as possible, you would want the ultra fast boot option. Set up the rest just like I did. They should be like this by default, but if they're not, you know what to do. This was it for the setup. And this was pretty much it for the tutorial guys, I hope the guide was easy to follow, if you have any more questions then leave them in the comment section and I'll try to help out every single person as best as I can. If you have trouble installing a SATA SSD, you can check my tutorial on that, or if you have a hard drive you wanna install, then of course check out my tutorial on that too. And this was pretty much it guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.